Alton Towers have just released a brand new video showing off Nemesis Reborn and we also have the news that there is a potential new attraction coming to the resort as well. Earlier today the park released an incredible looking new video showing off Nemesis Reborn testing at night and it honestly looks incredible. It had all the red lighting, the smoke and everything. It just was it was honestly perfect and you can see all the details on the on the station building up close. It really did look fantastic and it's nice to see the park constantly giving us new content pretty much every day, especially this past week they've been releasing little short videos which are showed off and built up little teasers and obviously we're going to find out what that is by the end of the week hopefully. <laughs> I'm Hoping we do, but yeah, no, it's it's really, really the marketing has been spot on for Nemesis, uh, and I'm just so looking forward to getting on it on Saturday. But in other news, as I mentioned, we are potentially getting a brand new attraction coming to the resort. Credit to Towers Times for finding this out and being on the planning application page because they've found the news that Alton Towers have submitted planning application to put in a brand new structure, sort of building, uh, next to the Curse at Alton Manor and also by the monorail service area near Nemesis. So yeah, it's on a plot of land there and what we know so far is that it's going to be constructed of shipping containers and a dome tent um, now if you look at the images for it it does look very similar to obviously the the building and the structure that we see over at Thorpe Park for survival games and because it looks sort of a temporary structure um, and not sort of a permanent one we can sort of allude to the idea that it's probably going to be a scare attraction coming in here or some sort of walkthrough you know, attraction. We could be getting, you know, Black Mirror 2.0. Uh, <laughs> hopefully we don't. But um, yeah, no, it, you know, it'll be interesting to see what comes into this space. I mean, they've submitted application for it, so it's likely we'll see it potentially come in at the end of this year. Um, probably most likely for Scarefest. I don't think it will be an attraction that will open for the summer. I mean, it could be. It does, probably doesn't take too long to set this all up. Um, but yeah, it just depends on planning application. Um, but yeah, in terms of what's going to be inside it, I don't think it's going to be a ride. I think, it, as I said, it'll be more a scare attraction walkthrough thing um, that probably will be for Scarefest and New Maze, which will be brilliant to see the maze come into the a new a new one come into the park. Uh, I think it really needs it, especially for the event, uh, and I think they're going to do a fantastic job with Scarefest this year. I've heard many promising things, um, and so you know, hopefully, it's going to be really good. But yeah, no, I mean, what theme could we see in here? I mean, it's right by the curse or manor, so we could see a, a, a curse or manor theme, uh, which, you know, might fit in really nicely. I'm not sure what they could do, but maybe you're going through an Emily Alton and all of that. Uh, or it could be like a nemesis sort of theme, you know, maybe like a phalanx facility or something. But I think that might not work so well. Obviously, you've got Subterra, which is the phalanx facility. So, you know, it, you know, it all depends or, you know, you could be going in. I don't, I don't really know. I don't I don't know if it'll be a nemesis theme because you couldn't really have the monster in it because you've got the monster in Forbidden Valley. Uh, and this the, the path that leads up to this is just outside of Forbidden Valley. So I, d I don't really know. Um, but yeah, no, you know, it'd be interesting to see what comes to the, the, the space. I mean, it, it's quite a big space to work with there. So it'll be a big maze. Uh, and as I said, it'll be very similar to the Thorpe Park um, container structure for survival games. So, you know, quite a big maze that they can do here. Uh, and so it'll be interesting to see what they do. But, you know, obviously let me know your thoughts below. Um, and yeah, in other news, Nemesis, <laughs> Nemesis Reborn. Who hasn't been talking about it? Yeah, they released a brand new video today, um, you know, just showing off the the how incredible the ride looks. I mean, it was testing at night. They had all the red lights and the smoke on it. It honestly looked incredible it's going to be the best ride in the country it was before it closed for me but i mean it's just going to be topped off now isn't it with the, the the special effects and everything they're still hiding the eye and i think they won't release that until uh until people see it for the first time on saturday all these little teasers that they're showing us and maybe that's going to lead up to it and maybe friday evening they're going to show it or something or saturday they're going to do like a a big unveiling of it and it sort of looks like it's awakening or something that might be quite cool if they did like a little uh, opening ceremony and the eye the eyes closed at first and then it opens and it's like starts roaring and everything i don't know something like that might look quite cool but yeah I, you know it, the, the video looked amazing <laughs> that's all i can really say it, it, it looks phenomenal and i cannot wait to experience it on saturday along with everyone else it's going to be very busy but the atmosphere is going to be incredible i don't care how long i queue as long as I get on it and it doesn't break down. 
But yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to getting back on it. I'm looking forward to seeing what this, this new planning application is. Uh, and yeah, let me know your thoughts below. But yeah, thanks for watching this short but sweet video. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching.